Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very special video. Now, by the end of today's video, not only are you going to be equipped with a deeper understanding of Amazon PPC advertising, but you'll also gain valuable insights into the different targeting options available on the Amazon platform. So Amazon offers you a world of possibilities to refine your ads and reach your target audience effectively. And today we'll be exploring the two primary targeting options available on Amazon and they are automatic and manual. In automatic targeting, we'll explore the various ways to refine your ads, including loose match, close match, complements and substitutes. And then we'll dive into the details of each of the refining options and discuss how they can enhance the effectiveness of your campaigns. And then we'll move on to manual targeting where we'll uncover the mechanics of manual targeting campaigns. You'll learn about the different match types available such as exact match, phrase match, broad match and we'll go one step further with broad modified match. And then we'll discuss the benefits and advantages of each advertising type so that you can make an informed decision on which approach suits your goals best. Now, everything I'm about to share with you today is what I've learned as an Amazon seller over the past seven years. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Adam Zulkanen. I'm an eight figure Amazon seller and I'm the founder of Scale It With Ads, which is an Amazon advertising agency based in the UK. We specialize in helping Amazon sellers like you scale your businesses beyond six and seven figures using the power of Amazon PPC. So throughout my journey, I've encountered countless challenges and I've learned valuable lessons that have shaped my expertise in e-commerce and advertising on Amazon. And so I'm thrilled to be able to pass that knowledge on to you. All right, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Automatic targeting. It's pretty much as the name suggests. It's a powerful feature that streamlines the advertising process for sellers on the Amazon platform. By leveraging Amazon's advanced algorithms, these campaigns automatically determine the best keywords and ASINs to target for your products. With just a few simple settings, you can sit back and let Amazon's system do all the heavy lifting and identify the most relevant keywords and audience to target. On the other hand, manual targeting provides you with full control over selecting specific keywords and ASINs to target. With this approach, you have the freedom to tailor your advertising strategy according to your unique goals and preferences. So while it requires more upfront research and ongoing management, manual targeting offers greater precision in reaching your target audience and allows for testing and optimization to enhance your campaign performance. So that was just a quick brief overview of what the two targeting options are. Now we'll start with the first option, which is automatic targeting. So automatic targeting campaigns, they give you the freedom to customize your daily budget, default bid, and select the specific products you want to advertise. It's all about giving you control while still leveraging the incredible capabilities of Amazon's advanced system. So here's where the magic happens. Amazon's algorithms takes the wheel and they automatically identify the most relevant keywords and audience based on your listing titles, descriptions, product details and category. Through a combination of factors such as your product information, customer search terms and sales data, Amazon's algorithms work their magic and generate a comprehensive list of keywords and ASINs to target. The best part, it's all done automatically by Amazon. Automatic targeting offers you four options to refine how your ads are targeted to search terms and products. So let's break them down for you. First up, we have loose match. This means Amazon will show your ad to shoppers who use search terms that are loosely related to your product. Picture this. If your keyword is storage containers, your ad can match with search terms like plastic storage bins or storage boxes. It's all about reaching a broader audience and capturing those potential customers who are just a little bit outside the box. Next, we have close match. 
So with this targeting option, Amazon displays your ad to shoppers who use search terms closely related to your product. For instance, if your keyword again is storage containers, your ad can match with terms like storage containers with lids or plastic storage containers. So that's all about precision and making sure that your ad is seen by those who are most likely to be interested in your specific product features. Moving on to the substitutes option. So this one's really interesting. Amazon shows your ad to shoppers who viewed the detail pages of products similar to yours. Imagine this scenario. Your product is, again, storage containers with lids or plastic storage containers. Amazon will cleverly match your ad with shoppers who are browsing similar products and this is all about catching their attention at just the right moment and stealing the sales. Lastly, we have the compliments option. Amazon will show your ad to shoppers who view the detail pages of products that complement yours. Imagine having your ad displayed alongside products that perfectly complement what you're offering. It's a fantastic opportunity to tap into an engaged audience and increase the visibility of your product listings. Now let's dive into the advantages and disadvantages of auto campaigns. So the first advantage with automatic targeting is it's a simplified advertising process. With automatic targeting campaigns, your advertising is essentially on autopilot. These campaigns are the quickest and easiest to set up when it comes to advertising on Amazon. One of the biggest advantages of leveraging Amazon's auto-targeting is the streamlined process it offers. By letting Amazon's algorithms take the reins, you can save valuable time and effort. There's no need to stress about keyword research or have prior experience in setting up campaigns. Amazon does all the heavy lifting conducting the research and optimization for you. So the second advantage of automatic campaigns is the ability to uncover ASINs and keywords. Automatic campaigns expand your keyword coverage by tapping into Amazon's vast data and machine learning capabilities. The system identifies relevant keywords and search terms that you may not have even considered. This broader reach helps you connect with a wider audience and potentially opens up new sales opportunities. And the third advantage is enhanced product visibility. With automatic campaigns, your ads have the opportunity to appear in various prime locations on Amazon, including search results and product detail pages. This increased visibility is like a spotlight shining on your products generating more impressions and attracting more potential customers to your listings. It's all about getting your product in front of the right eyes at the right time. Now let's look at the disadvantages of automatic campaigns. So firstly, there's a lack of control. While automatic targeting can save you time and effort, it does come at the cost of giving up some control over the selection of keywords and ASINs. The algorithms may not always align perfectly with your specific marketing goals and objectives, potentially leading to less precise targeting. You're basically placing your trust in the hands of a machine, which may not always fully understand your unique objectives. The second disadvantage is limited keyword visibility. Automatic targeting campaigns may not provide you with detailed insights into the exact keywords that you're driving performance. This lack of visibility can make it challenging to refine and optimize your advertising strategy further. It's like navigating in the dark without a clear understanding of what's working and what's not. The second disadvantage of automatic campaigns is the potential wasted ad spend. So basically, there's a potential that you can waste a lot of money Without a direct control over the selection of keywords and ASINs, there's a possibility that your ads may be displayed to an audience that's not as relevant as you desired. This can result in wasted ad spend on clicks and impressions that don't convert into valuable conversions. Picture this, your auto campaign for storage containers ends up targeting washing up liquid. It can be quite random and costly if not carefully monitored. While automatic campaigns offer convenience, 
especially for new sellers or sellers that have just started advertising or those who prefer a hands-off approach. It's essential to remember that ongoing monitoring and optimization is crucial. This ensures that you get the best results from your auto campaigns and you avoid wasting time and money in the wrong places. Now let's move on to manual targeting. Manual targeting is a targeting strategy in Amazon advertising where you have full control over the selection of specific keywords and ASINs to target for your products. With manual targeting, you gain more visibility and control over your campaign performance. You have the power to closely monitor the performance of each keyword and ASIN you target. This means you can track their effectiveness, make adjustments to bids accordingly, and make informed decisions to optimize your campaigns for even better results. Now, let's be real for a moment. Manual targeting requires more upfront research and ongoing management compared to automatic targeting. It's not for the faint of heart, but here's the catch. It offers greater precision in reaching your target audience and is more effective for both short-term and long-term growth. In today's competitive landscape, you cannot rely solely on automatic campaigns. You need to have an effective strategy in place by manually targeting the right keywords so that you can rank your products and effectively reach your desired customers. It's like playing a strategic game of chess where each move is carefully calculated to outsmart the competition. Now, one thing that is incredibly important to remember is that the success on Amazon is not just about listing your products. It's about positioning them in front of the right customers at the right time. And the only way you can do that and get your products in front of customers is by advertising. Now let's move on to the benefits of manual campaigns. What are the benefits of manual targeting campaigns on Amazon? Well, ladies and gents, let me tell you countless advantages that manual campaigns bring to the table. I could spend many hours talking about them, but I'll narrow it down to three key benefits that will revolutionize your advertising game. First and foremost, we have precise control. With manual campaigns, you're the master of your destiny. You have full control over your targeting options, allowing you to handpick specific keywords, placements, and audience segments. This level of control empowers you to optimize your campaigns based on your unique preferences, ensuring every dollar spent is strategic and effective. Next up, we have testing and optimization. Manual campaigns open the door to endless experimentation and fine tuning. You can test various strategies, keywords, and add variations, gathering valuable data along the way. Armed with this data, you can make informed decisions and optimize your campaigns for peak performance. It's like being a skilled chef, adding just the right amount of seasoning to create a mouth-watering masterpiece. And finally, let's talk about budget allocation. With manual campaigns, you have the power to strategically allocate your budget across different keywords, ad groups, or products. This flexibility allows you to prioritize high-performing areas and make informed decisions to maximize your advertising budget's impact. Now let's dive deeper into the foundation of successful advertising. Keywords. You've probably heard, right? You've probably heard me mention the word keyword countless times, but what exactly are they? Keywords in the world of advertising are specific words or phrases that advertisers select to target their ads to a relevant audience. They serve as the building blocks of your advertising success. In your manual campaigns, you bid on these keywords and these are the words and phrases that hold the key to reaching your target audience. But here's the catch. Keywords become search terms when users enter the specific words or phrases into Amazon's search engine. When a customer is looking for a product on Amazon, they type in the search query into the search bar. Amazon then matches their search term 
to the keywords you've included in your listing, determining whether to show your ad to the customer. It's a pivotal moment that can make or break your advertising success. That's why it's crucial to include relevant Amazon search terms in your listing, as without them, your product will remain hidden from potential customers. No matter how amazing your product is, how competitive your price is, your product may remain hidden from potential customers. Remember, targeting the wrong keywords is a recipe for wasted time and money and missed opportunities. So it's essential to strike the right balance and align your keywords with what your customers are actively searching for. But how does Amazon perform this magical matching process between search terms and keywords that you're targeting? That's where the concept of match types comes into play. Match types give you the flexibility to be highly specific in your keyword selection and harvesting. You have four match type options at your disposal, each influencing the level of precision in targeting. Let's dive into each of them. So we have exact, phrase, broad, and then broad modified. So exact match. This match type aims the closest alignment between a customer's search query and your targeted keyword phrase. And we have phrase match. With this match type, you're capturing moderately specific search term phrases that closely align with your targeted keyword. It allows for a bit more flexibility, capturing variations and additional terms within the search query. It's like casting a, a wider net while maintaining a strong connection to your customer's search intent. Then we have broad match. This match type expands your reach by capturing generalized search term phrases related to your target keyword. It accommodates variations, synonyms, and related terms within the search query. And the last one, which is not an option on Amazon, but you actually have to manually do this, is broad modified. It's a modified version of the broad match type. This match gives you greater control over your keyword targeting by specifying certain terms that must be present in a customer search query. You can strike a balance between specificity and flexibility by specifying certain terms that must be present in a customer search query. It's like having the best of both worlds reaching a wider audience while still maintaining relevance. Now I'll go into a bit more detail into each match type so that you have a better understanding of how they perform. Exact match. An exact match type is all about precision. It matches a customer's specific search term phrase with your targeted keyword phrase, giving you tight control over your bidding. How does it appear? It appears when a shopper enters the exact keyword phrase you've selected without any additional words or variations. For example, if your keyword is baby spoon, your ad will show when a customer searches for that precise phrase. Next, we have phrase match. This match type captures search terms that include your targeted keyword phrase along with additional words before or after it. So how does this one appear? Well, when a shopper searches for a keyword phrase that includes your targeted phrase along with other terms, that's when your ad would appear. For example, if your target keyword is, again, baby spoons, your ad could be triggered by search queries like pack of four baby spoons or baby spoons dishwasher safe. Broad match lets your ad cast a wider net capturing a range of search queries related to or similar to your target keyword phrase. It offers the least control in keyword bidding, but allows for a broader audience reach. How does this appear? When a shopper's search contains your keyword in any order, along with any possible combination, that's when your broad match would appear. For example, if your keyword is we'll use the baby spoon option again. Your ad could show for search queries like wooden dining spoon or spoons and fork set. And finally, we have modified broad match. Modified broad match offers greater control over keyword targeting compared to regular broad match. By using the plus symbol before specific keywords within your target phrase, you specify that those keywords must be present in the customer search query for your ad to be triggered. 
How does broad modified appear? When a customer search query includes the keywords you've specified with a plus symbol in any order and with any additional terms, that's when your ad would appear. For example, if your modified broad match is plus running plus shoes, your ad could show for search queries like shoes for running or best running shoes for women. And there you have it. We've covered the ins and outs of automatic and manual targeting campaigns on Amazon. Whether you prefer the convenience of auto campaigns or the precision of manual campaigns, understanding the power of keywords and match types is key to driving success in your private label or advertising efforts. In your private label and advertising efforts. Remember, automatic campaigns offer simplified advertising and leverage Amazon's algorithms to identify relevant keywords and target a broader audience. On the other hand, manual campaigns provide you with precise control, testing and optimization opportunities and the ability to strategically allocate your budget. By combining the strengths of both organic and manual, you can create a comprehensive advertising strategy that reaches your desired customers and drives sales growth on Amazon. Now finally, if you're an Amazon seller and you're making more than 25k a month in revenue and you're looking to really scale your business and take it to the next level, then reach out to us using the link in the comments below and we'll see how we can help you. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next 